Jack Long here from Learn Guitar Tunes. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, this is possibly one of my favourite songs to play on the ukulele. It is absolutely amazing. Red Hot Chili Peppers, Scar Tissue. Um, I had a ton of requests from you guys, um, uh, starting on a whole lot of my comments below one of my other videos. And uh, one, someone said, could you please do more Red Hot Chili Peppers uh, songs on ukulele? And then it went into a big whole discussion and Scar Tissue came out pretty much as the uh, favourite. So here we are. Um, I'm going to do the main little riff for you, and then obviously cover those chords, nice and easy chords. And of course the little um, other riff that you just saw there in the intro. So we're going to zoom in, hope you like this, Red Hot Chili Pepper Scar Tissue, amazing song to play on the ukulele, pretty easy as well. And uh, let's, uh, let's zoom in, hope you enjoy it. Okay, so Red Hot Chili Peppers Scar Tissue. What we're doing is we're starting off on the 5th fret, okay, on the C and the E strings, okay? So start off playing your C string first, so it goes C, E, C, and then E, E, you see what I did there? Okay, hit that E twice, watch. C, E, C, E, E, C, E, open, and again one more time, C, C, E, E, C, E, open. And when you hit the open, hit the two together. Okay, because remember we're concentrating on the, the E and the C string here only. C, E, C, E, E, C, E, open. So you go open, as I just showed you. Then you want to put your index finger down on that... Um, so you want to put your index finger down and the middle finger down and then play those two at the same time. So you go da, da. as you go da, da. you then hit the E, C, E, E, C, E, open. Similar pattern again. Da, da. scoot back up to the five. So let's go through that whole beginning part again of this riff, starting from the fives. C, E, C, E, E, C, E, open. Together like that, those two. C, e, C, E, E, C, E, open. Back up to the five. I sometimes hit those together and then you go down to that C, you go down to the E again, or you could come back to the 5 and just hit the C. Exactly the same again, then. And then you just, as you do the second part, open, back down again on that uh, first fret, second fret of the E and the C. Little pause. And the last bit, you just go. And what you do is, when you're in that little shape there, take your middle finger off, keep index finger there, and you just hit the index finger. So you just hit your um, E string, hammer onto the third fret of that E. So then hit the E when you're on it, and then pick off. So let me run that through with you again, that little riff. Index finger is already there, so you pick the E string, hammer on from the first fret over to the third, and then pick. Now we're on the third fret and pick, uh, pick it off. And as you pick off, you want to literally you're pressing down as hard as you can here. And that should, as you lift off, make an extra note which plays then a first fret of that E. So watch, hammer onto the third, and then pick off to the first. So you hammer onto the third, and then pick off to the first. Okay, so let's run through that all again at the uh, very beginning. Open. Open. Back to the fifth. Open, 
together. Okay, I hope that makes sense. The verse and the chorus, the chords are exactly the same, all right? So it starts off with an F. All right, at C, we've got a C. And we've got a D minor. D minor. Oh, God. There we go. If I don't bend the string, it might sound all right. Okay, so this is how I play it. You start with the F, and I'm going to count to four, all right? And on the fourth of the F, you don't play an F, you play a C. Watch. So it goes like this. One, two, three, and then down to a C. Four, then a D minor. One, two, three, and then on the fourth, instead of doing a C, I lift, but keep my index finger here. Four, and then back to an F. Or you could lift. In fact, that's better. Actually, that is better. So on the D minor, you go one, two, three, four, all open. And then back to F. One, two, three, four on the C. D minor. One, two, three, open F, two, three, C. D minor, two, three, open. Okay? And this is why, because it sounds pretty cool. It's like, scar tissue that I wish you saw. And I kiss you Cause when the buns I'm sharing When the buns I'm sharing So lonely view and When the buns I'm sharing So lonely view and Like that, okay? And you see how you kind of just interchange between that C and that open between the F and the D minor chord. Alright? And then... The chorus pretty much um, follows suit, so it's um, as you just heard me singing it, so it's like with the birds and shed. So watch. With the birds are shed is a lonely view and F. With the birds I'm shed C is a lonely D minor view and F with the birds are sharing a lonely view. Okay? And there you go, and it's literally just F, C, D minor, open F, C, D minor, open F, C, D minor, open F, C, D minor. Really that easy. So the chords are pretty easy, but of course you could play it, you know, like this. Scar tissue that I wish you saw. Sarcasm, so Mr. No it all. Hold your eyes and I kiss you girls with the birds I'm sharing. When the birds I'm sharing so long. Mix it up, mix and match it. So that's that's entirely your choice there. And the strumming's um it's not actually that difficult, but it's a bit hard if you think about it. So the best thing is to do actually not think about it. So watch, it goes like this, it goes down, starting from the F chord, down, down, up, down, up, down, down. So it is down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. That's the strumming. Of course, that with that C coming into the mix of things and that open coming into the mix of things, it can slightly confuse you if you're trying to concentrate heavily on the strumming. Watch. It says down, down, up, down, up, down, down, on the C, then into D minor. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, open. Back to F. Down. that awesome uh, little riff which comes in the middle kind of uh, in between the verse and the chorus um... okay that little bit so you start off index finger on the uh, C string of the, of the second fret and then have your ring finger if you can or those you can't stretch pinky's fine or if you want to be showing off you can use your middle finger I'm going to use my ring finger, 5th fret of the A. So first of all, we're going to 
basically be hitting these two strings together to start this off, not playing this E. The motion is, is this. C, E, C, E, E, C, E. Quite similar to the, the beginning riff. So it goes. And then you want to be focusing on the A as your main little ringing note, high pitched ringing riff. And then this is more of your bass C line line. So I hit the two together. Then I hit the fifth fret on the A. Then you move down on the A to the third fret. Both of them. A, C, A, C, A, A. Third fret A. Then lift. Open on the A and the C together. Like that. So that's what we've got so far. Again, see what I did there? You can do that. We hit the uh, the two strings together when you move it down. Okay. The next bit after that, you want to bar on the third fret, the E and the A together. Strum from the open C. I sometimes hit that just to make sure that ringing of that um, A string comes out every now and again. Same motion. Strum A strum A A strum A. You can do that. Watch. Strum A. And then we repeat again, but it's slightly different at the end this time. So we go back to this shape again. So the second time round, we do uh, exactly the same again, but there's a few changes now. And this bit, this time, so we start again with the two strings here. The C and the A. This time though, see what I did there? So it's together. And then it's. Then I bring pinky over to the seven together with the two. So seven, three, open. So it's seven, three, open. Instead of five, three open. This time we go seven, three, open. So I'll repeat that again. Then it's the threes. Three. Then the two open. And this time, instead of repeating it, we now have our two finger on the two there, back to the five. So you go back to this shape, and then you just end it like this. You hit the two together, then you scoot up to the four and the seven, and then the five and the eight. So you go like that. And then back to the song. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope you like this lesson. This is definitely one of my favourite songs on ukulele by far. Um, if you do want to request, please leave a comment below. If you like the lesson, please like it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, so then you get updated with all my other up and coming ukulele and guitar lessons as well here on Learn Guitar Tunes. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next lesson and uh, enjoy.